Welcome Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio to your Why Do You Feel Such a Strong Connection reading. This will be a tarot reading exploring the connections you are feeling with people around you, whether you're married, single, dating or courting. Otherwise, let's get straight into it, starting off with Cancer. Why do you feel such a strong connection, Cancer? Okay. Okay, the Knight of Swords energy. I think you're liking the action this person um, exhibits. They're one to pursue something. They're one if they have their eye on something. They want to they they want to pursue it. So I think you like the energy that they have about them. It's almost like they have a fire in their belly. They're quite forward. They're quite ambitious, um, and they get things done. And I think for you, that's a very strong attraction. I think you're very attracted to this sort of energy that they have around them but also the chase because the knight of swords as you can see is charging ahead so as much as this person may charge ahead and tackle things they may be very ambitious and this also has you very interested in them i also feel like they communicate things very openly and honestly um that there's no pretense in their communication. So I think they have a way with words, but I also feel like they're very direct. And this directness has you very, very interested in them. But I also feel like it's pursuing, it's the chase as well that's coming through as well. So for some of you, especially if you are attracted to an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, it's the chase um, and their forwardness that has you very, very interested and very drawn to them, especially with their words, the way they communicate with you. Uh, whether it's directly or indirectly, this, this communication is a major factor for you that's coming into play here. Okay, the Queen of Wands, very strong spiritual connection with this person, but also sexual. I think you admire their openness. You can see the Queen here that sits open, uh, very poised and open-minded um, and very receptive on her throne here. So I think you're very attracted to the openness of their spirituality. So they're very open-minded, maybe religiously, maybe spirit, uh, spiritually. But this has you very intrigued, Cancer. And I feel like you feel you can connect to this person without even speaking to them. Sometimes the communication doesn't even have to come into play here because the connection exists without it. So it's not something you can probably articulate in words because the connection is spiritual. And it's almost like you feel like you could be one with this person. You could see yourself in a relationship with them. And they're open. And I think this is very admirable qualities to this person. And this is why you're so intrigued. You're very attracted to their, to their beliefs. I feel their beliefs, their morals, their traditions, um, their religious or spiritual orientation also plays a major part for you here and also is contributing to this attraction. But it is a sexual attraction too. So it's someone that has a lot of grace, yet a lot of fire and a lot of passion. So I think they, they're they quite versatile, Cancer, but this is very, very appealing to you with the Queen of Wands here. And their appreciation for nature, for, th for living things as well. They have a very nurturing energy and they have leadership qualities. So I think this is attracting you because they take reins of relationships or friendships. And I think this has you very connected to them. Wow, this is beautiful, the Sun card. For some of you, I feel like this connection is very pure because as a child here, it's an innocent connection. There's purity with this person. There's no falsity or pretense. This is an undeniable connection. But I also feel like this this person makes you feel like a child again. This person makes you feel sentimental and giddy and open and receptive and like you're learning, like you're growing. So I feel like you like the person that you are when you're around them. So not only do you feel good about them, you feel good about yourself when you're around them. This could point to a past life connection with the child here in the sun. I feel like they make you shine um, or you want to shine when you're around them. Again, they have a very uplifting energy to them. You're intrigued. You want to know more about them. You want to hear more about them. You're open and they're, they're quite affectionate, I find. So whether this is in communication, whether this is in their actions or the way they uh, their mannerisms, the way they conduct themselves, but I feel this is very appealing to you because you, you crave that affection, Cancer. You're so big on it, and this person is very similar to you in this regard. 
This is someone that you see as paternal or maternal, someone you could see yourself having children with or being a wonderful, loving partner or parent. Okay, the Empress, very strong physical attraction here. Sexuality, this is someone who is possibly your type when it comes to looks or physical attraction. This is possibly someone you've fantasized about sexually. This is someone that exudes a lot of femininity if they're female, a lot of masculinity if they're male. And this is someone you could, this is someone that's very sensual though, Cancer, or I guess whichever style or um, whichever way you're sexually inclined, this person is very similar and I think you share this connection and that's the reason why you're being pulled together. Astrologically, I think the two of you could be or are very, very compatible. You can see the 12 signs of the zodiac, the crown of the zodiac on the empress's head here. So I feel as though this connection is very, very physical, but at the same time, it's spiritual, it's earthly. It's even to the point where it's animalistic because there's um, animals in these cards here. So there's possibly a lot of um, sexuality that oozes from this connection for you. Okay, let's have a look at Pisces. Pisces, why do you feel such a strong connection? Okay, have the Emperor. Okay, there's a very strong attraction to the way this person, their beliefs, um, their morality, their attributes, the way they conduct themselves, their integrity, their character. This has you very intrigued because this is someone you could be very, very compatible with, with the emperor here. You see them as your emperor, whether you are female or male. This is someone that you see as intellectual, wise, learned, a little bit mysterious and maybe a little bit intimidating Pisces, but it keeps you on your toes. Therefore, you want to explore this connection further. They're coming up as the emperor. So they're coming up as someone you, you have a lot of respect for. You're also very intrigued by them and want to learn more about them is what I'm seeing with the emperor here, especially for those that are attracted to an Aries or a fire sign. This person might also remind you of someone that is very nurturing and loving that is around you, possibly a male. It could be a father figure, a brother, um, a friend, a cousin and this a relative of some kind and this person has very similar characteristics and they're very admirable qualities that they have Pisces and this is why you're drawn to this person with the Emperor here okay with the full card this person makes you feel like you want to take a leap of faith makes you feel like it's chance or it's fate or it's serendipity or it's luck but I have a feeling that there's a metaphysical element to this person Strong fire energy again, so I think you're admiring their passion, their lust, the way they act, their um, ambitiousness with the full card here. But I also feel like you feel like taking a chance with this person. You're embracing this connection. You want to know more. You're intrigued. You're enamored. This person makes you feel like you're on the edge of a precipice. So there's thrill and excitement. Even though some, sometimes they might come across as the emperor, there's also coming. Uh, there's also adventure coming from this person. And I feel as though you feel you're someone new with them. You feel more liberated when you're around them. So this is freedom and spirituality coming in here. Very strong metaphysical or spiritual connection with this person. But you very much admire their willingness, their courage their bravery and i think these are very there's a these qualities are really standing out to you pisces okay the temperance card there's a divine element to this person here so fate opportunity luck chance call it what you will there's something that's a higher power and this is why this person has come into your life with the temperance card this person is teaching you spiritual things about yourself but it's also alchemy I think there's lessons to be learned with this connection here. There's a reason why the two of you have been brought together, and I think it's to liberate you from something, Pisces. I think it's worth exploring. And it could be a soulmate connection. It's a divine connection. It could be soulmates or twin flames. The two cups resemble the two of cups, the two lovers coming together um, in a reciproc reciprocal mutual union. So for some of you, it's all about exercising patience and using manifestation and 
energy and desire to get this person and vice versa. So I think there's lessons to be learned in how to attract this person into your experience with the temperance card. But it's also angelic. They're here to help you. They're here to teach you things about yourself. And they could have lived many lives if they are coming up as the emperor. They could be an old soul, Pisces. And this soul connection has you very connected. Okay, three of pentacles. Physically, you have a lot of common interests with this person. They might physically be your dream appearance, have your dream looks, have your have the mannerisms you're looking for, the etiquette, the, the physical attributes. But it's something to do with um, speech and their intellectual nature and the way they come across. I think there's, it's a very strong intellectual connection here, I think, between the two of you. You have very strong mental engagement from this person, and you're very similar in this regard, especially if you're dealing with an Earth sign here. The Sagittarius has come up with the Temperance card, but this is Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo that's come up here. So this is their stability, security, their physical, their groundedness. And I think this is something you're admiring, and this is why you're drawn to this person. I also feel like maybe it's career that draws the two of you together with the Three of Pentacles. Um, it could be talent as well. So say, for example, if you're in the film industry, or you're in public um, publications, or something like this, the industry that you're in mirrors the same person because they too have the same interests or the same career as well in some capacity. So you share passions together or talents together which is quite powerful here let's have a look at scorpio now scorpio why do you share or why do you have such a strong connection sorry scorpio why are you drawn to this person okay judgment card you're embracing this person and everything they have to say you're a good judge, judge of character from this person. I feel like you can read into them, Scorpio. And you're very emotive, much like your fellow uh, water signs. And you feel your way through and you're feeling that this is a karmic connection because the judgment speaks of karma. And there's lessons to be learnt with this person. This is why you're so attracted to them. And this is why you're opening your arms to this person and this connection that's coming into your life. You feel like they're there to teach you something. Or if you don't know that yet, then this is why they're there. They're, this, they're, they're there to teach you about relationships, relationships, about yourself and your perception of relationships and love and karma. So anything you've done in the past or anything you're yet to do in the future, this relationship somehow ties in with that because there's lessons to be learned with the judgment card for you, Scorpio. But it's good lessons. It's lessons that you'll... We see coffins here, so lessons that you'll take to the grave. It's lessons for the soul as well, because, you know, these these people are emerging from coffins. So this is past life connections for some of you, or this lesson to be learnt with this person and this connection is possibly to benefit you in the next life, or maybe later on in this life as well. Okay, Three of Swords. This is someone that's coming in with similar pains or connections or lessons they have to learn with you. So for some that have been deceived or that have been hurt or have felt pain in their love life, um, this person is coming in with similar attributes and I think you're connecting on an emotional level because whether you're aware of it or not, Scorpio, this person shares a very similar trauma or past to you. And this is why your lives are intertwined, reunited with love. So I think the both, of you, the both of you have the same love to give each other. And whether you can be with each other or not, whether you're coupled up and you just have a connection on the side with this person, whether you're single and the both of you are available to explore this connection, I think you'll find that if you pursue this, you'll have a lot of commonality with each other in relations to past pains and past hurts. And I think that's why your lives are intertwined. And that's why your connection is your connection is based on something really raw and something really real, Scorpio. So this is quite quite intense, quite an intense connection here. Okay, nine of swords. This person definitely is very influential over you. It's almost like they have you under their spell. So you're very 
you're very hung up on this 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 person actually Scorpio or you're very connected with them or they're very connected to you especially if they're an air sign their the connection from their end is that they can't stop thinking about you that you're taking over their thoughts possibly driving them crazy in a way um, because they're just there's desire or lust or there's they're, they're wanting to get to know you especially because Scorpios can be quite mysterious and for them especially if they're air signs they're just in overdrive thinking about what you're thinking and what you're feeling so for them it's maybe you know it's really eating them up alive because they want to explore this connection um, but I, I do feel for some of you there's a very strong deep connection here and it has you feeling a little bit puzzled you know it has you feeling quite emotional actually and you might find that you feel really intense like when highs are high or when lows are low like it's just there's no medium because it's either really really intense really good and great and passionate and deep or it's either really bad it's obsessive it's um, you know, it plagues you in a way with the Nine of Swords. Okay, you also have the Nine of Pentacles, stark contrast. So look at this Nine. As I just said, highs are high and you feel really good. Lows are low and then you feel bad. But look, the Nine of Pentacles is the, is pointing to the highs, especially this is those that have a connection with an Earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. This is quite powerful, Scorpio. This is you feeling really really complacent and this is a very physical connection here this is a this is looks physical attributes you're very attracted to this person's charm they're very alluring they're mysterious but you're you're both thriving on this connection and I feel the two of you could have potentially have a very nice relationship here there's lessons to be learnt but it's lessons that you'll never forget and it's lessons that could change your life is how I feel with this relationship. For those that are able to pursue this connection, you may find that this connection will bring you triumph, will bring you karma, but in a good way. This needs to happen. You have angels here, so this is really beautiful. And then you have the bird. The bird is liberation, it's freedom, but it's fragility at the same time. So it could be a very tender and loving connection that you have here. So look, I hope this has been insightful. Thank you so much for joining me, for liking, sharing and subscribing. So thank you so much for doing that and supporting the growth of my channel. I do wish you all the best and hopefully we'll chat soon, Water Signs. Take care.